technology has gone too far. This is not what Steve Jobs would have wanted. <laughs> Custody battle? <laughs> oh, good lord. Oh, good god. Imagine how it feels to be Rin Penrose. Already a curse. Imagine how it feels to go on Twitter.com. Or No, what happened was I got a DM from my manager saying, hey, Yo, you seen this? And I went... <gasps> Oh my. Oh my god? Oh. My god. Oh my god. Oh. My. God! So that's what this is. <laughs> Manager really said, Ayo? <laughs> oh, deary goodness gracious. Rin's Blahaj Custody Battle, a video game that now exists! <laughs> it's a sentence that you can now say and mean it. Terrifying stuff. Oh boy. <laughs> I am gonna say, this is just the demo I've heard, and by heard I mean read. This is just the demo I've read. On the developer's itch.io page. <laughs> a website that now I've been on before. Thanks for that, boys. <laughs> this is just the demo I've heard. Um, I don't know what their plans are for the for the for the full game exactly. It's probably because I have poor reading comprehension. Sorry, boys, you're stuck with me. Oh dear God. I've put the link to the thing in the description. If you'd have, to, if you'd like to have like a little peruse. Tee hee ha ha hee hoo ha. But we'll just- we'll just see how this goes, honestly. My manager just played through a bit of it and he went, I think you'll like it. And I went, Oh. So we'll see. I do think that- <laughs> I do think the general gist of this game, though, needs to fall under, um, this is not canon. I'm not counting this game as canon because I think- I mean, the words Blahaj Custody Battle, if I ever got into an actual Blahaj Custody Battle, I don't know how I'd deal. I don't know. I'm not mentally strong enough for that one. We'll figure it out. It'll be something. <laughs> we'll figure out something or other. God knows we'll we'll try. Okay then. <sighs> right. I'm not I'm I'm too sober for this. <laughs> oh dear. Right then, me when I start the game. Now with full voice acting. That's me. You there! Yeah, no, this isn't canon compliant. Sorry, boys. Scrugly wouldn't sound like that. <laughs> this is your Rin Penor's fan fiction, I see. <laughs> voice acting, let's go. <laughs> yes! You. Hello, Scrunkly. You're probably wondering why I summoned you here. See, Scrunkly, imagine. Me? Actually, it, don't. I take that back. I'm here to give you a very important task. I know. It's a great honor. See, I don't really know how else to say this, but Juna and I have been going through a, uh, through a custody battle over my babies. Frankly, I don't know how she has any standing for my children, but my Blahajas are getting kidnapped from me left and right. Appalling. Hate how much the dialogue does sound like something I would say. Disgusting. <laughs> Fun fact! Rin Penrose isn't canon. She can't hurt you. She can definitely hurt you, Hyper Epsilon. She's run off with your money now. Sick. <laughs> So far, she's called my shark protective- she's, she's called shark protective services and taken all my children other than my youngest one, Syrup. Your Majesty, a letter has arrived from Miss Ju from Miss Unagi! Okay, this is ridiculous. What does Juno want now? Hello, Rin. After our last meeting, I felt so hurt by your words at our, our last couple's counseling session. That's my Juno voice, you're gonna have to get over it. <laughs> Do you know how long I cried last night? I feel as if your tyrannical nature will be a bad environment for the Blahajas under your care. Because of this, I have called Shark Protective Services to return Syrup under my care while you are currently at work. 
if you get better at being a ruler, I'll consider sharing custody of the children with you again. Sam, no! A tyrant! You read the rest of the, the letter from Juna as Rin weeps at the loss of Syrup. And this is why this isn't canon compliant, because how dare you. I don't want this. What is that accent? Listen, man. I wasn't going to ask Juna to help me with this. What are you, insane? <laughs> Lawyer funds to help fight the eel. Actually, we might be needing this in a second. Oh, good God. If you really want the kids back as soon as possible, I'll give them all back once you say three nice things about me. How much do you really want your children back, Rin? Otherwise, here's a token of my affection. I'm sure it'll come to good use sometime soon. Your most precious love, Juna. Not canon. You found three gold coins in the envelope. Not true. Not true. She would say something along the line. What would, what would Juna say in this situation? Bitch ass, pay for your own lawyer. Probably. You can hear her saying that. I specifically can hear her saying that. Just three gold coins! What does she think I am, a peasant? Rin sighs. Huh. <laughs> well, you can see the predicament I'm currently in. Wait. You again. What was your name again? Scrunkly make a scrunkly pog! <laughs> Sounds like someone has committed high treason against the great Rin Penrose. <laughs> Do you mean Juna in this game, or do you mean the developers in real life? Either way, I find it amusing. <laughs> I'm going to sue the developers for making me sad. <laughs> Love your streams, Ben. Thank you very much, Reaper. Oh, dear God. Right, okay. Scrunkly Maker. <laughs> Be careful of making your character a riddle to delete your very existence. Man knows what he's talking about, that's all I'll say. <laughs> Time for eel poaching. <laughs> We're having eel for dinner tonight, lads! Oh boy, right, okay. Duotone. Monotone. Enter my name. I'm gonna make my scrunkly original character. My, my, my... OC, but the letter O has a scrunkly inside it. <laughs> His name will be... No, let's make the scrunkly first. Uh, this is my creative process. This is how I work. You see this scrunkly on my shoulder? Chill scrunkly? Exactly. OC. <laughs> right then, left color. Look at all them colors. You made the scrunkly maker faster than me. I can't complain. <laughs> oh, good God, you've got a lot of colors. Ooh, that's a nice green. Can we? There's a color combination I like. He's oh, he's kind of chilling. Wait, no, I did just make I I did just make scrunkly of scrunklies. <laughs> Delta Skylar, thank you for joining the funny membership. The OC, but it's the loading side. Oh God. <laughs> right then, I could just make scrunkly of scrunklies. He's chilling. He's chilling. Wait, would that be? No, it would definitely be this color. Okay. It's him! <laughs> you there, the scrunkly. That's... Oh, I'm suing the developers. No. Maybe. I can work with this. I- that's not- that's not real. No. 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 That's just wrong. You're not crazy about that one. What the fuck? <laughs> Oi. You know what? I'm fine with him being a little- I'm ignoring the cursed options because they're not- they're not canon to scrunkly biology. Listen, listen, you can do what you want, you can do what you want, but I'm writing up like a scrunkly... <laughs> I'm writing the scrunkly law bible as we speak. Scrunklies are good creatures, they wouldn't be cursed. I don't actually like cursed things that much, I, I just prefer them to be... To be <laughs> I just like being silly. And whimsical, I like being whimsical. 
Let me tell you something, Rim Panaros enjoys being a whimsical. <laughs> Skrunklings have biology! They are perfect creatures. They don't have traditional biology. But they are alive. Hmm. They have souls, how dare you. Glasses, let's see. Megane Skrunkle. Oh my god, he's intelligent. Oh my god, he does- A LITTLE MONOCLE, YES! YES! That's good. That's good. You can have hats. That's nice. I like the little traffic cone. He's just like me! No! Egg. Delicious egg. Oh. There he goes. There he goes. He's a cosplayer! He's partying! He's partying the fuck up! He's got hair. <laughs> Pikmin! No. He's gonna- <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Dapper Scrunkly. Yes. I think I'm just gonna make him- I think I'm actually just gonna make him regular Scrunkly. The canonical Scrunkly. Prime Minister Scrunkly. Wizardry Scrunkly. I don't- I don't- I don't agree with this one. <laughs> I'm fine with the, with a chef scrunkly. Oh my dazzling scrunkly. Oh my god, <laughs> the way that it clips out here. <laughs> you can see where the PNG ends me. I mean, do I really get to talk after all? I also clip out of existence past a certain point. <laughs> That's very relatable, thank you. Let's see. Fio hat. Juna hat. You I like how the Yuko hat is just like, fuck it, hair, we don't know. <laughs> Pochi hat. Excellent. You literally just made the scrunkly maker before me. I can't even be mad at you. I can't even be mad at you at this point. <laughs> mm, I think I'll just make a plain scrunkly. I, I'm just enjoying looking through. The Listen, man, you've given me a, ca a character maker. I can't not look through it. Outfit style. <gasps> a little bow tie. No. Oh, he's in the clouds. Oh. Egg. Egg. He's got a little squiggly blanket. He's no, don't like that. <gasps> blah hash, blah hash, blah hash, blah hash. He's got a little blanket. Listen. Listen. I am a cold-hearted person. I am savage, I am petty, I am ruthless. There's a car outside my window. But all of that can be ignored when a- when a- Listen, listen. I told you before, I'll tell you again. I put all of my goodness into the scrunkly. They are beings of pure light. The problems were with Rin, okay? <laughs> He's like a little bird. Can I have five dollars? Wrong. I should have five dollars. <laughs> Ballet scrunkly. Club penguin ninja scrunkly. Baseball scrunkly. Stacks and stacks scrunkly. Who the fuck? What? Okay, sure. Oh my god, scrunkly with a little zip. So he can change his clothes easily. I mean, I've got to give him the little blahage. Where is it? There we go! Wait, childless. CHILDFUL! <laughs> there we go. You know what? He's childful. Child, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You could have a little son. It's bring your son to work day at the scrunkly office. I mean, if you say so- Mod sent him to the DMV. <laughs> it's what you get. It's what you get. <laughs> you piece of. <laughs> oi, oi, oi. New challenge. Everyone make a scrunk sona now. <laughs> I mean, the game's free. It's not like I can stop you. What is his name? I'm gonna tell you some scrunkly lore right now. I'll do it. The original name, like the code name I had for Scrunklies, because I like putting code names on things because it, make it makes me feel smart and sneaky. 
the code name I already or, or, originally had for Scrunklies was they were going to be called they were going to be called Pritchards because I just thought that was a dapper name and then I was like oh but the Scrunkly and they are the Scrunkly but his name is Pritchard and I'm happy about this <laughs> Rim can have a little five euros as a treat it could happen <laughs> Mods make him childful. Mods, give him a life to protect. <laughs> oh boy. Mods, give him just a little fella. <laughs> I like the name Pritchard. I like the name Pritchard too. I think Scrunkly is a good name for them. But I like the name. His name, his name is canonically Pritchard now. I guess it always was. I'm just confirming it. It's real. It's true. I've just realized my merch advertisement is going above my model. You know what? It's worth it. <laughs> oh boy, obligatory $5 super chat. Can't do this anymore. I'm gonna... <laughs> I do also see the donation now that says, is this Ace Attorney? <laughs> Me when the attorney is Ace? <laughs> the Scrunklies ask, the Scrunklies receive. I mean, literally. Something, something 15% goes into the Scrunkly budget. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you've seen our budget split or whatever. You've seen our, you've seen our revenue split with the agency. <laughs> they say 15% goes to projects. They're wrong. It goes to Scrunklies. <laughs> Dollars aren't real. SMH my head, my head. <laughs> Thank you for the, thank you Tyron Z for the donation in British pounds there. The real currency. Right, okay. Pritchard, it's time, it's, it's bring your child to work day. Let's go. Pritchard, huh? That sounds like the name of the thing that I said it was going to be called before. Anyway, you will now be Chief Scrunkly Advisor. Your duty is to guide me as I deal with the Scrunkly petitioners who have come to me with all of their problems. Uh, it's not canon that Scrunklies have problems. I work tirelessly to make sure every Scrunkly is happy. I'm gonna tell you this for free. <laughs> I'm glad we're enjoying our game. Please don't sue us, we are poor! I mean, you will be if- <laughs> You will be if you're super chatting me, game dev! <laughs> oh god, his parents really named him game, game dev. Terrifying. It's like that one horse show. <laughs> oh dear god. Look at them! Look at them! Though I imagine that, mo uh, that more than half of them are skill issues. <laughs> Not canon. A Scrunkly wouldn't have skill issues. Scrunklies believe in themselves and they work hard. Listen, am I basically writing a, a children's TV show? Yes, I'm happy with this. That's kind of what I want. I don't want them to have problems. They don't need drama. <laughs> I love drama, but they don't need it. Remember, your choices reflect on my reputation, this kingdom, and- oh, <laughs> Wait a second. I had to reread that because that's exactly something I would say. Remember, your choices reflect on my reputation, this kingdom, and most importantly, my reputation. So make your decisions carefully, there's no going back. You start working. The way I just fucking did that. <laughs> I need hand tracking so you can see every time I check the watch I don't wear. <laughs> Damn it! They foreseen my actions with their enemy stand. Uh, two hours. Get to it, Chief Scrunkly Advisor. The loading screen ever. Day one. 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 <laughs> Sorry, I, I I do like the idea that every day is two hours long. Not real, but it could happen. Announcing the Royal Cook Scrinkly Brothers, Wesley and Kinsley! An intoxicating aroma wafts into the courtroom as two round Scrunklies with distinct chef hats enter. Well, of course they'd be round. They're just hanging around. The two Scrunklies, Scrunklies quarrel and they wouldn't do that. They wouldn't do that. Love in the game. It's not canon. <laughs> they wouldn't do that. With words we cannot place on screen. I would do that. I'll call you a bitch ass motherfucker any day of the week. The Scrunklies don't need this. 
They're peaceful creatures. Get it together. This is an act of fanfic. This is like one of those actor AUs where um, actually everything that's happening is a TV show. <laughs> and the Scrunklies are just acting. They don't actually have any real drama. Saved it. We're so back. Yeah. <laughs> the arguing grows louder as the two approach the throne, never breaking from their fight. Aye, aye, settle down. Go look at the. They are. Hold on, them. They are. They are chilling. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear God, they are chilling. The two squonklies cry it down, but keep trying to push their round bodies at each other. The reason for petition area in the petition document is simply filled with profanities about the opposing parties, Your Majesty. You wouldn't do this. Get your scrunkly law. <laughs> Well, butler, who approved them then? The butler remains silent as you look over the petition. Rin's signature is scrawled at the bottom. <laughs> it's true. Rin Penrose can't read. At the bottom right of the crumpled petition, in a rather obtuse approved stamp sits next to the signature. Anyway, you two, stay your business and stop wasting my time. Mother gave her, her favorite child the gourmet recipe. I know that I was never her favorite, but all I'm asking is for Kinsey to give me the recipe for the secret sauce. So what if Mother gave me the gourmet recipe? Our regulars wouldn't be ordering it every day, so what's the point of knowing the secret sauce? I'll give you the recipe for the secret sauce if you give me a supply of your leftover white flour from your home cooked recipe. Oh no, my dead body! Not canon. Scrunklies wouldn't die. So I've just noticed the uh, the mustaches above the the beak, and I that's quite amusing. I like that. <laughs> The brothers start to squabble again. The only way I will remotely care about this is this is the secret recipe for the fish in the filet of fish. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. I eat that without the sauce, I'll have you know. They've turned in this container filled with their mother's belongings, including her will, some interview that she did with a famous food critic, and a red and ruby. That's 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 my boy. <laughs> Let's see. Kinsley, hand your sauce recipe to Wesley. Wesley, supply the leftover flour to Kinsley. We'll pay you two to work together. I mean, obviously I gotta have a look at the, be uh, the, the belongings. Let's see. I've got... It's a legally binding document. My hands are tied. <laughs> the will dictates that Wesley has bequeathed the famous home-cooked sauce recipes while, while Kinsley has bequeathed the gourmet recipe. Okay. I thought they were the same one. Oh no, it's canon! I'm stupid! <laughs> okay. This is an option now, hello. Convince Cook Scrunklies to work together. Use the will. Our mother clearly said that we have- to, uh, that we each have our own recipe, so why are you trying to take my half, you- <laughs> Calm down. You're the one trying to get my side of the recipe! You've always been mum's favourite! I don't think that it was, Chief Scrunkly Advisor. Shrugs. Okay, let's see. The interview. The Scrunkly News! Yes! The interview shows the mother of the Chef Scrunkly Brothers explaining her famous recipe. She explains that the source of the gourmet recipe is used in elements of the home-cooked family recipe. Hmm. At the same time, the leftover flour of the home-cooked recipe is used in the gourmet recipe. They have to work together. They have to do the thing. Ruby. For my wifey is it etched on the side of the ruby. Happily married scrunklies? Living a peaceful domestic life? I'm fine with this. Let's see. <laughs> what about your father? Oi, oi, oi. Let's see. The, the, in the thing it says, Oi, can you f can I know you're not me, can you read? Look at this damn interview and just collab on the recipe like your mother intended you. I hate you. I hate this. <laughs> I've never seen this. You're right, your majesty. We should work on the recipe together like our mother wanted us to. No, it's easy. No one can do my job as ruler quite like me. It's funny because I'm choosing the choices this time. All right, court adjourned. I'm just slamming on the arm of my chair. <laughs> oi, oi, oi. 
Guess what, Chief Scrunkly Advisor? I found Apollo and Justice in my kitchen last night. They were just... They were just eating the smiley face potatoes. We love it. My beautiful children are coming back to me. I know I'm so smart for hiring you. Look at Apollo and Justice! My silly little dudes, it's not that gory! I may not have adopted them at the same time, but they are essentially twins, nonetheless. My lovely babies! I, I miss you so much! How are you two? Were you mistreated at all? No! Why are they sad? Fuck you! You can't do this. So the food there is better. What, what do you mean I need to improve my cooking? That's why I have people on staff, I'll have you know. You can't do this. The only reason you two came back was because Juno brought you two to the new restaurant that the chef Scrunkly's opened. And they thanked me for settling their differences. Well, if they said- I, I mean, uh, of course I did. Did you two see your siblings while you were at Juno's? I don't like that they're sad. I need to ameliorate this incredibly fast. Are they being taken care of? And I'll have to put in a greater effort to get the rest of them back. Is this something you guys are thinking of? Did Juno tell you to say this? Both! Good morning, Your Majesty. The day's petition has arrived. I can't deal with this right now. I have family matters to attend to. We didn't have the budget. What the fuck? Non-canon, they don't get sad. This game is a work of fanfic. This game is a work of fanfic. This game is a work of fanfic. <laughs> All right, you two, I'll see you in the kitchen after I'm done with work, okay? There's fruit pastels in the little snack drawer. Would you like one now? <laughs> Immersive gameplay. They're so silly. And then the two hour long day ended. Wonderful. Announcing the esteemed scholar Scrunkly Howard! It's a good name. It's a good name for a scholar. The growing mumble of the crowd start to fill the courtroom. The crowd near the entrance splits and an obnoxious lavender perfume permeates the room as a Scrunkly with a tinted monocle and maroon scholar robes enters. I'm fine with lavender. Lavender is one of the only scents I can smell, so that's epic. Scholar Scrunkly, what's with the posse? A crowd of Scrunklies hold up their fan signs and continuously shuffle around Howard, so slowly becoming a fire hazard. <laughs> you hear the words of your manager echoing in your head. Rin, buy a fire extinguisher. <laughs> oh no, I understand now. <laughs> I still not as many subscribers as me. Good morning, good morning. The buzz of Howard's fans silence when he clears his throat. I am here for one of the most important missions of my entire life, your majesty! Get on with it! Howard's expression remains unfazed by Rin's impatience and general bad vibes. I must prove that I am indeed the best poet of the land! You've got steep competition. Have you seen Shakespeare and Hathaway? What's that have to do with you being here? Mr. Howard has challenged you to a poetry competition, your majesty. I'll just- I'll just take, like, all the banger things my managers say in my management chat. <laughs> God, no, they've got some real wild ideas sometimes. A poetry competition? Rin clears her throat. Ahem. Well, I'll give you credit for knowing to come to me for a true challenge. That being said, Rin gestures to- how do I do this? Uh, I gesture to me, but also it's not me. Nice. You'll have to defeat my advisor first before you can approach me! Chief Scrunkly Advisor, you handle this pleb for me. No pressure, but I'll disgrace your entire bloodline and more importantly, dishonor the royal card cross if you screw up. Good pep talk! Good luck! <laughs> Howard remains cool and composed as he turns to you. Do you know the rules for this poetry competition, right? You didn't say them. Mm. Correct! All you have to do is follow what I say with the correct rhyme for all three of my prompts and I will consider it my loss. Good thing I've got someone else on this then. <laughs> I shall now start. A flower blooms on the crescent moon. The bread rises with rye. People swear under an oath, but still writhe under a lie. 
They're applauding me. I'm very good at this. Many sharks bite as wa at water at the... Sorry, I bit my tongue. Or maybe my beak. Many sharks bite as water as the... At water as the fish turn! I eat fish! Fish fear me! Women want me! <laughs> Women want fish! I'm hungry! I'm scared of fish! <laughs> I wish my parents would not be so stern. Squirm I may, but fear I shall never! Dollars, dollars, baby! <laughs> I eat fear. I love books. <laughs> Slam poetry, yo! Scum bird I may, but fear I shall never. Because my friends are not. Sure, this one. I was like, syllable count! Wait a second, I can do this. Hmm, I shall secede my title as best part of the land to you. Au revoir! Yeah, 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 yeah! Oh, let's go! Howard stands, yell words of encouragement as Howard moves out of the courtroom, his head remaining high despite his slightly bruised ego from his defeat. He's a good sport. All Scrunklies would be good sports, I believe in them. Chief Scrunkly Advisor? That was dope. Never took you for, for a poet, to be quite honest. He's a poet and he wasn't even aware he was rhyming those words. Banger track! Yeah. Chief Scrunkly Advisor, my sweet daughter Puddles has returned. I'll need her around if I need if I I'll need her around if I need to keep the other boys in check. When I got back, she was reading next to the fireplace and watching a vod of your poetry competition. <laughs> that vod, this very vod you're watching right now. Zoom out. You see the blahage watching the vod of you watching the vod on. <laughs> I've already been confused. I've done it. I'm confused. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Vodception. Terrible. <laughs> Did you know, Chief Scrunkly Advisor, that Puddles has actually won a poetry competition before? True. She's very smart. Correct. She is my well-spoken, flourishing daughter. I'll have to get after. I'll have to go get afternoon tea with her today and get her favorite food served: tiny cucumber sandwiches. Rin's eyes shine with happiness as she continues to gush about Puddles. Me one law? <laughs> Keep this up and you might even become Supreme Chief President Advisor. Oh, here she comes! Yes! Blahage in a hat! <laughs> Fucking based as hell! Yes. Yes! Puddles, my sweet Puddles, I may not have a sleep schedule, but that doesn't mean that you should be up so late. I know you're watching the poetry competition, but you still need to go to sleep. Yes, we have told the poetry about you. Their autograph. Well, since you're here, you can ask them yourself. You sure you don't want mine first? Shy, my intelligent out of this world daughter is shy. But it's right there, you can just ask them. This is, I presume this scene also like coincides with just me like furiously giving the... <laughs> The blah has little head, scr head scritch scratches. But also, I'm not making fun of you. I know it's you. I'll see you back at the library. Puddles scuttles off without, presumably, another word. Good morning, Your Majesty. The day's petitioner has arrived. Real shit? Three. Three, three, three. Announcing Noble Scrunkly, Duchess, Duchess Remington, and Peasant Scrunkly Beansack! <laughs> My god. Incredible. <laughs> a Scrunkly in a luxurious clothes and a grandiose hat strides into the courtroom, a stench of overbearing vanilla and sickening caramel following closely. With her head down, a much more de decrepit, impoverished Scrunkly trails the former Scrunkly. Not canon. Not canon. Scrunklies help each other out. They all thrive. Scrunklies wouldn't have eye bags because it makes me sad. 
<laughs> this is a friendly reminder that this game is not canon to the Scrunkly law. <laughs> Don't do this to them! <laughs> Gucci Scrunkly! <laughs> it's okay though, it's okay to slay. As the two Scrunklies reach the throne, Beansack accidentally bumps into Duchess Remington. Duchess Remington sneers in disgust as Beansack struggles a bit before rolling upright again. Not canon, not canon, not canon! Since when did I allow a noble class? I don't think so. <laughs> oh dear. Oh boy, Jun, thank you for the raid. <laughs> You're not gonna understand anything that's going on, it's great. <laughs> Your Excellence, I have come to you who in an earnest way to help state my case against Duchess Remington. Well, at least he uses my proper form of address. Speak then. <laughs> this Skunkly refuses to leave my plot of land, claiming that his grandparents made an agreement with mine to own his farm. I have expansion plans for my vacation home that that land smack dab in the middle of the center of this peasant's farmhouse. Why are you talking like that? <laughs> Please, Your Excellence, I am but a simple Skunkly dedicated to my farmland. My family fell into hard times during my father's period as a family head and I never learned how to read! Not canon. Scrunklies get free education. They're allowed to be- they're allowed to be smart. <laughs> the fine boom raids on the- don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Oh boy. My grandfather told me that before that, if the time comes when we need to prove our family's claim to the land, I only need to bring our family seal to our prince and she will know what to do! What is the timeline on this? How old do you think I am? <laughs> Beansack holds out a small mahogany stamp. That's very little to go off of, peasant. Bad move on your grandfather's part, trust in me! <laughs> oh god. All scrunklies in this game are actors. It's just makeup, don't worry. He's okay. He goes to his, his acting caravan or whatever that actors have. And he gets to eat little peanuts like a like a fancy boy. He gets to eat M&Ms of any color he wants. It's great. Also, what am I supposed to do with this? Hey, random noble I never approved of. Do you know what this is for? I've never seen that thing, my prince. Must be something this peasant pulled out of his wastebasket. Also an actor. They're actually friends in real life. Now we have a goofy little seal and for what? I vaguely remember something similar to this, but I can't seem to recall. Hey, butler, do you remember? The butler quickly appears in front of Rin. You were a witness to this case from, like, 80 years ago, my liege. Wait, no, this is me speaking, never mind. Wait, how old do you think I am? Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, no, oh, God, for God's sake. <laughs> you were a witness to this case from 80 years ago, my liege. You helped them conduct a, ma a magic ritual that sealed the in the seal. The result of the seal. I don't do much magic these days, I'm too sleepy. <laughs> Your Majesty, you said, and I quote, This seal is a bit cringe, but bring it back if you need help down the line. Yeah, that's that face is about right. Oddly specific, butler. I, also, you remembered that? You divert your attention back to the stamp. I'm just gonna say, it is a little bit uh, difficult for me to remember which character I am when you is the Scrunkly and also the Rin Penrose. I'm trying my best. <laughs> Scrunkly telenovela when it's right now. I've been saying this. Every idol generation is themed after like a different media thing. Origin is based on games. Uh, EN1 was it's like an isekai anime. EN2 is a slice of life anime. When's when's the telenovela branch? And why is it idly ass? Please, I'm just asking politely. <laughs> you divert your attention back to the stamp. Upon closer look, you see that the bottom of the stamp is engraved with the insignia of a fancy hat crossed with a pitchfork. They were besties the whole time. I knew it. Glowing blue lines lay across the handle. This will be relevant later because the dialogue said it. I have prepared the relevant instructions for the seal, your majesty. In case you have forgotten, of course. Butler, do you have such little faith in me? The butler says nothing. <laughs> Rin takes a brief look at the sheet of paper. <laughs> Once you look at the instruction manual, defend the peasant. Or do whatever. I don't really care. <laughs> but look, player out of consciousness with me. <laughs> Bribery. Bribery could happen. 
I mean, obviously I've got to look at the thing first. Guide to using a runic seal. Step one, light a lavender incense with a maroon match. Like the, like the thing that the scrunkly was wearing. The, per the perfume. The eau de parfum. Step two, hold the lit incense against the bottom of the stamp. Step three, press the heated stamp against wax parchment. I, I mean, I believe in him. I believe in, in, in poor, impoverished Scrunkly, who is an actor, but it's okay. I defend him. You find an assortment of incense and matches in front of you, deftly placed by the butler. Let's see. It's the lavender one with the, with the maroon. With maroon five! Yeah! <laughs> okay. At the top of the stamp, it, it was at the bot. I can cheat. I can cheat. Teehee. 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 At the bottom of the stamp. I'm doing a good thing. It's uh, always remember to uh, refer back to instructions, kids. The stamp grows warm against your touch. And then I do it on the... <laughs> I thought that said baking paper. <laughs> Aluminum foil. Aluminium. Wax parchment. A murmur travels the courtroom as the light on the stamp's handle grows, bl grows brighter. Veins of navy blue streak against the wax parchment from the stamp and fall into place. The previously empty wax parchment is now filled with details of a lengthy contract titled Oscar Bean Sex. Uh, yeah. Oscar Bean Sex Settlement. Oscar was the founder of the du of the Remington Dukedom. Hmm, I guess I shall have to agree with this order of evidence. Thank you so much, my excellence. All in a day's work, I suppose. Run off now, I need to go take my afternoon nap. Cart adjourned! Cart adjourned. Me when I have a little nap. Nice. I found my all these babies because you're bullocks under my blankets last night. They are just chilling. My twinsies. Well, they are non-identical twins, but twins nonetheless. I care them. Keep this up and you might even become the Supreme Chief Commander President Advisor. It could happen. Look at them, they're chilling! Yes! 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 They are happy, they are thriving! Look at that smile. Excellent. I like how the little highlight says what name they are. Caster and Pollux. <laughs> oh, look at my sleep. My sweet baby's ready for the blanket before you do the go room. You wanted to donate to the Beansack family? And crowdfund to sponsor their education? Well, we might not have the funds in the treasury to- But your blanket is so expensive! Well, there's no need to take such drastic measures. We can just get Super Chats to pay for it, surely. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I'm a nice person. <laughs> I'm playing a character. Everyone in this show is playing a character. It's fine, I would never say something like that. <laughs> there's so many warm blankets here. Of course we can spare some for Bean's ex family. No need to go all the way back to Juno's place! Rin sighs in exasperation. Exasperation. I'll get the butler to arrange a care package. They're happy? Rin looks onwards as Catherine and Pollux roll out of the courtroom. They are chilling. For the bean sacks, let them be able to read. I want them to- I want to get them a subscription to Skillshare and- and also an internet connection, probably. Caster and Pollux are always so pushy. I wonder where they got that from. Can you though? Don't look at me. Nameless person, don't look at me. Don't name at me. Rin pauses for a moment, lost in thought. Sorry, I was just looking at this packet of fruit pastels I have. It's 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 very intriguing. <laughs> Most obey. It is a matter of law! <laughs> oh, thank you very much, everyone. I wonder how my children kept showing up in my house without me knowing. Couldn't possibly be- Nah. Maybe I should install some cameras or something. Good morning, Your Majesty! The day's petition has arrived! Pog! Pog! First of his name, Emperor Coral High! Ooh. Me when the. <laughs> the slam set! 
sound effect! <laughs> Do I have my slam sound effect? No, that's not- that's not the same. Oh well, I'll find it. The ground shakes as thunder resounds throughout the courtroom. Panic settles into the cur the courtiers and several cover their ears in response to the loud collapse of thunder. He's not that scary. He's not that scary. Don't bully him. An elder, bright blue shark enters the courtroom, glowering as Rin, at, at Rin as they approach the throne. Coralhai! Oh, great emperor, I'm honored to be graced with your presence. What brings your excellence to my courtroom today? Where are my great, great grandkids? <laughs> well, you see. Where is Nibbles? What? Wait, Emperor Coral High, I can explain. I heard that they've been taken by Shark Protective Services. What have you done? Hmm, I see that you've made a great effort to bring them back. I'm five Blahaj living. Me? I, 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 yes, I have. Wait here. Coral High flips and storms out of the room. Thundering noises following him. Rin calls after him. Uh, Carl, hi! Do you need any- do you need help? I wonder where he's going. Thirty minutes later! Thunder roars across the room as Carl High suddenly appears in the courtroom once more. Like a force of nature he is. I have retrieved Nibbles! Oh! My son! My dabber boy! How did you get him back? I asked Miss Unagi nicely. You what? Take care of them or I will be back! This time when Coral High leaves, he does not return. Nibbles. Nibble. Living my best life! Nibbles is back! Let's go! Of course, dear, I'll get you a can of sardines right away! I'm glad to hear your siblings have been doing well. You've always been my most responsible child. I've always been good at ruling my kingdom. You're right, Nibbles. I guess you can say that my decisions have been much more informed as of late. I'll see what I can do. Who's been helping me? Nibbles, you don't think that I'm capable of doing this myself? I'm canonically 85,000 years old in this game. <laughs> Rin sighs and gestures to me, you, me. That is my chief advisor. Nibbles, advisor, this is Nibbles, heir to my throne and my eldest. My son says thank you for your service. Yes, Nibbles, I haven't touched the garden, so feel free to take a nice walk through now your bag. I love you, Nibbles. I'm, go I'm glad to have you back. Pat, pop, pat, 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 pat. Nibbles leaves the courtroom, and the butler hands Nibbles a can of sardines on the way out. Poggers! You know? I think that's what the kids would say. Based, 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 based. The following day, Rin receives a letter from Juna. Hello, my dear Rin. Well, 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 you've done quite well for yourself. A little birdie told me that you were being less of a tyrant nowadays and the kids want to see you more often. I wish you had this you had this attitude during our counseling sessions, but I'll make do with whatever is happening now. See you soon, love, and maybe you'll get custody of the rest of our children back. Your love, Juna. That's still my Juna voice. <laughs> Don't tell her. P.S. My offer still stands. You can get all the children back immediately if you send a reply to this letter with three nice things about me. A wink. Terrible. Terrible. Wretch of a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Lawyer fund! <laughs> I can't deal with this anymore. Well done, Chief Ad Skrunkly Advisor. I hope that you'll do your best to get my other five children back. My, chil uh, my children should not be separated for any longer. That's not what I think when I think joyous scrunkly noises. I, I think more of the, the thing in Animal Crossing where it goes... Woohoo! Or like a pigment going like... That'll be good. Will Rin finally get her Blahash children back? Or will- I don't know what this what this voice is. I'll keep doing it. Or will Rin have to be emotionally vulnerable with Juna? Stay tuned to find out! That is the piss me. It's me on the title screen. I am the title screen. <laughs> Oh, 
excellent. In the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> no, it's only a demo. Let me check. Hold on. I want to see if they actually have a proposed release date for the full thing. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Me when I see. Me when I see. <laughs> Oh god, I'm checking that Twitter and it li literally the most recent tweet, Grin Panrose, do not sue us, we are broke. <laughs> oh, I see your tweet pondering on how long you think people will spend- I will spend at the Scrunkly Customizer, you're banned. I'm- I kill you. <laughs> oh dear god. Okay, I'm gonna- I'll skim later and I'll see if you have a, a released. Quarters 1-2, 2024 coming out faster than fantasy life fantasy life i we could be so back <laughs> here's some lawyer funds thank you for playing our game e e e e e e e e e no thank you for gaming the play <laughs> oh dear lord oh boy this was a good one this was a good i would encourage people to to go to go and it's I think you can- yeah, no, you can play it in your browser. Wait, no, that's what I'm doing. I don't know why I was confused. <laughs> you can play it in your browser. I think, uh, on desktop. I don't know if it works on mobile. You'll have to ask the devs. I would presume no, but we can see. You can check. I think you should at least- I think you should at least, you know. Skrunkly Maker? I think they have a hashtag and stuff for it. I think I would advise giving a little peruse. <laughs> God knows I love a little peruse. This was fun! Honestly, I don't- <laughs> I don't know how I got to this point in my life where this is a thing that exists now. Where it's like, ah, I- I made a funny little- I made a funny little Pritchard, I made a funny little Scrunkly, and now he's on stream and he has a son, and he's in- and he's in a video game. And it's him. And he's slaying. But you know what? We've got to this point, lads! <laughs> Oh dear, flash forward three years and these are the devs who are going to be doing like the official Rin Penro's X Ikea game. <laughs> when is the Wii release? <laughs> Do you not port in this thing to like the GameCube? I don't want, I don't want any part of it. <laughs> I love Ace Attorney. Ah, <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Ah, oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Where's the Virtual Boy release? I want to see it in red. You'll move. It works on mobile, I tried. Okay then, that's very, that's very good news. I have no idea how itch.io works. I'll retweet the, it's in the description. The link to the game is in the description, but I'll also retweet it on Twitter. Fuck it, I'll do it now. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Which one of your tweets am I going to quote retweet? I'll do it, I know the, I know the devs are watching. I fucking see you. I fucking see you. Oh boy. You know what? I'll I'll figure out a way to emotionally destroy you once I finish streaming. <laughs> I'm scared. No, don't see me. Wah. Then why are you in the YouTube live chat, buddy? <laughs> oh dear lord. <laughs> nice. No, yeah, this was fun. Oh boy, I know sometimes some of you set up like little fan projects for me and I, I don't respond to them like nearly as much as I should and I'm gonna be real. It's because I have the memory of a, like a stereotypical goldfish. Not a real goldfish, but like a goldfish where you would read it in a book of fun facts and you'd be like, ah, goldfish memory, five seconds. And I believe this, but it's, it's not true, but that's still my memory. Oh no. <laughs> I've actually been meaning to play this since like for a few for a few, you know? And then I don't put it on my schedule because I'm forgetful. And then I post my schedule. And then I go, oh fucking hell, I fucking forgot again. Oh Jesus shit. Oh, I've messed up this time. That happens with a lot of things. And fan games like this sometimes end up being the thing that slips through the cracks. But I fucking got there! I did it! I did my job! I'm a genius! I'm a god! <laughs> a few what, Rin? Don't look at me. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh lord. This is fine, this is fine. <laughs> But yeah, I don't- I'm not sure if I'll play the game when it releases on stream. I will almost certainly have a look on stream, but I might- If- I want to play it on stream, I'm not going to play it immediately when it releases for the sole purpose that like- Uh, spoilers! <laughs> but I would definitely say, if this has intrigued you, I would say, God, I'm, I'm shilling for someone else now. Not just for my own company. Terrifying! That's not normal. That's not normal for me. <laughs> If you're interested, at least go uh, go ahead, have a poke around with the Scrunkly Maker. See what happens if you bribe people. I didn't bribe people in this game, which is very uncoming of me, but you know. <laughs> oh dear. Convince someone else in Idol to play it. Looks at Juna Unagi. <laughs> I'm gonna get a very confused DM from her in a few hours, aren't I? <laughs> oh dearie me. Well then, I think... <laughs> I think that's it. I'm not going to do a second playthrough on stream just because... You can go through and explore all the different possible options in the gaming. <laughs> oh boy. I'll leave some stuff to be discovered for you. And or my manager if they just need an excuse to get drunk. <laughs> oh no. If they want... If they just want to feel very confused but they don't want to talk to me. Understandable. Oh boy. <laughs> right then, I think, yeah, I think that's it for me. Um, we're gonna be raiding, it's, uh, Nikki is doing her 20k subscription celebration stream. So we can, we can do a funny little celebration raid. Congratulations. No, don't say that, I swear to god. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> yeah, we're raiding to... No, let me, let me, oh, actually, let me double check who's, no, I'm not going to do that because I've said I'm raiding Nikki now. That'll be incredibly rude. No checking. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, also, I'm doing a member stream and I'm not going to raid that because I, uh, you know what? This game has filled me with a feeling of charity in my heart. <laughs> but I've got a member stream in an hour. We're going to be cooking. Tee hee. <laughs> it's the kind of thing that I was like, oh, I should definitely put this in the membership because otherwise, like, I might die. I might just be dead on the spot. I might... I might website myself. <laughs> oh dear. Congratulations. Don't... I swear to God if I go in Nikki's chat and I see that. <laughs> oi, 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 oi. Yep, I'm gonna start... I'm gonna get back to cooking and then I'm gonna cook that and then I'm gonna have a meeting at like 11 and we'll figure things out from there. It's a three meetings, two streams kind of day, boys. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go lie down for like half an hour, actually. I'm gonna make smiley face potatoes. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna share it with all of my little scrunklies and snebby and sharks and we're gonna have a good time. And we're gonna be like, wow, wasn't that game crazy? Aren't we glad that we live in a in a scrunk society where, where scrunklies don't not know how to read? I love how literate some scrunklies are. Some more than others, surely, but like, they help each other. Reminder, it is scrunkly canon that all scrunklies are doing great and are happy. <laughs> You're welcome. I. Listen, some things I do for you, chap. Some things I do for me. Scrunklies are for me. And also for you. But also for me. <laughs> I just want them to be happy, okay?